Corey Gilchrist who writes, Hey guys, keep on rocking. My question is, do you think films should bring back putting credit titles before films like they did back in the day? And what about bringing back the intermission to change things up? I think some superhero films would benefit from an intermission. Uh, well, Corey, I, a lot of films still do have big opening title sequences. I hate them. I really do. I, I don't like opening title sequences unless you're going to multitask them. So I remember... I think it was the Edward Norton Hulk thing we yep. talked about recently. They used their opening credit title sequence to tell the origin story of this Hulk, which, which was a reboot from the last Hulk. So mm -hmm. they told his origin story in just the opening credits. If you're going to have opening credits, I want them to multitask them and use them for something instead of just having us sit for two minutes and watch names flash by. Because personally, as a film fan, I'm not interested in that. As far as intermissions, no. <laughs> it's not it's not gonna happen back in back in the old days before any of our times they sometimes would have intermissions halfway through a movie um, and on one hand you'd think well the movie theaters would like that because then people would get up and go buy more popcorn and stuff like that but really what it does is it limits it's squeezing the time in the theaters theaters like to be able to cram in as many screenings as they can you start throwing in 10 minute intermissions and stuff like that suddenly now if you got 10 theaters that's a thousand minutes or a hundred minutes I should say of non-being used screen time in their theater, that just won't work. And, and I think we're at the point now that I don't think most people want a thing. I, but what about you guys? What are your thoughts on both opening credits to movies and the possibility of having an intermission in films? I think we've evolved uh, past <laughs> we've that. We've evolved. And I'm happy that we have evolved past that. And I, I like getting right to the meat of a story. I think if there's anything that should be lost in the editing room floor, it's exposition. And the way I see it, title cards before a movie are just exposition that can go at the end easily. In intermission, I don't want my movie going experience to be broken up. I want to have the whole experience in its entirety all together and then leave the theater and be able to process it. But I don't want to have to think about two different parts of it because for me, that's kind of jarring. I'd rather experience the whole yeah, thing Yeah, it takes you together. out of the film. Yeah. It's just, oh, we're going to stop the movie now for 10 minutes. It kind of takes you out mm -hmm. of it, Schnepp. Let me take a little break, a little intermission, if you will, <laughs> to think about this question. Uh, yeah, I agree. I've never been a fan of intermissions. Even if it's a two and a half hour movie, I mean, they, I mean, obviously, I don't think the filmmaker, unless they built it that way where it's a suspenseful moment, they're tied to the train like in the 1930s, <laughs> intermission, you know, before the person gets you know, run over. Uh, yeah, so intermission, not so much in our day and age now. I don't think it's necessary. But I do love the title sequences. In fact, I'm of, I, it's really hard to do now, like, say, a movie like Frozen that has, like, 500 CG animators. It, that would be a lot harder to put in the front of the film. But um, all the way up until the uh, late 70s, early 80s, they used to actually run all of, the, all of the titles, everyone's credits, in the beginning of the film with what you would call establishing shots of like, oh, here we are in San Francisco. We'll see some shots of the bridge. We'll see some city street shots. Uh, and then there's people's credits over these things. But then as you move into the story, it's slowly building you. Oh, now we're in a pharmacy. Now we're, we see people shopping. Oh, look, now we're at the guy who's the pharmacist. I'm just saying you can start to intro a scenario and a world while still showing all the credits. I'm a big fan of that because I also like to just get the credits over with as well as, I mean, I'm not a credit watcher. Like sometimes I am if it's like a special effects film. I'd like to see which studios made what and who, who were the actors and the, and the smaller supporting roles, things like that. But the other thing that is really fun about credit sequences that I love are like so use Superman, the movie, as an example. An exhilarating theme song, really cool credits. You're flying through outer space and then you land on Krypton. It's telling a story, but not like, you know, someone talking or scenarios. It's more of like a feeling or an emotional, like even Star Wars, you know, before you get that credit stretch, you have that, bang, it's, a, mm -hmm. it's something that people get familiar with, especially with franchises. So for me to see a really cool title sequence, we've seen it in Iron Man where they show you this cool three minute title sequence, but they, now they save it for the end of the movie. Instead, it used to be the opening of the film, but you still end up getting it. I think James Bond is another example. As you really expect a really cool song and really cool visuals to come with all of the people's name credits in every James Bond franchise mm -hmm. opening sequence. You have the opening moment and then it goes right into the song. So I think specifically for, especially for franchises, the opening credit sequence and title sequence are really important and uh, it's a movie by movie, you know, case is what I'd say. But I love them, so. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. 
It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.